Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to create a 3D terrain in Blender 3.6, which is really extremely easy. So the first step, you can just scroll down, go to my video descriptions, and just go and download the Terrain Material Pack CC0. This is a copyright free terrain materials. And I let you see all of these terrains, it included each type of the materials and also included the normal map. But in this tutorial, I'm going to show you the really easiest way to create a 3D terrain in Blender. So now you can see this is the Blender 3.6. The first step, what I'm going to do is just press A to delete everything. And the first step is just to click here, add a mesh, add a plane. So always remember the grid in Blender is one meter. That means for each of the grid is one meter times one meter. So if you want to create a really big terrain, at the first place, you may just go to the edit mode, then click here to select the surface and press, press S to make it big. Now it is big, big enough. And the next step, what we're going to do is just make sure it subdivide to enough resolution. So press S is to make it bigger. And now I already selected the face. I right click it, subdivide, subdivide a few times until you feel you can scrub it effectively. Now you can see for each of the resolutions, it's enough for you to perform a sculpting. And next, just go to the sculpting. But before that, switch back to the object modes and then go to the sculpting. So now this is the sculpting mode. Always remember this. And in this demo, I'm going to show you the easiest way. We just use the draw. And now you can see, if I pull it out like this, it is going to pull it up. I just click it. Now the radius, you can just make it big. This is to sculpt some of the mountains, for example. And then if you click subtract, it is going to, to push it down the radius, you can just make it small. And now I'm going to push push down a river like this. Let's say this is a river. Right. So you can create any type of the terrain. And let's say this is the mountain. I'm going to push. I'm going to pull it out. This is to push it down to create a river. And here add to push to pull it out here I make it bigger all right this is just the first step to sculpt the terrain and very quick I'm going to the next step is to subtract the next step is the, the terrain's material so now I back to the layout like this the next step just go to the texture pane but before that, you need to create a texture for this terrain. So first in the object mode, click here and then click plus new to create, to create a material. Then under the base color, you click here to make sure you select the image texture. And under the image texture, you click plus new. The color, you make it as white color because later we are going to just paint it. Then click OK. Now we check here. This is a, to a perfect white. This is a perfect white. So if you click here, it is going to show you the wireframe. If you click here, it is going to show you the texture. So next, we can just go to the texture pane. And under the, the texture pane here, you may just go to here, click plus new. At this moment, just select your texture. You click open, open from your desktop under the Terrain Material Pack CC0 that you already downloaded from, from the link that I given to you, the Terrain Material Pack. So you can just select it from here. By default, it is just a list. You can click here to select the pattern that you want. Let's say now if I want to have this, I click open. Once I open already, then 
click here to select your brush size now the radius is the brush size then this one is the texture to paint now you can see I paint it this is a type of the texture paint and this is the texture and now you can see this is this is a river over here so this part I paint it as like a grass and then another part here I want to to paint some sands at here if this is a riverside so I go to here and always remember the margin you can always adjust now is it if you adjust it you can just make it bigger or smaller now you can this is one if you make it big then it is going to change Now you can see different texture apply. This is just the margin. All right. Next, you back to here. You can change the texture. You open. Let's say I want to open some sands. This is the sand. Then. I'm going to paint some sand at, at, at the river side here. I'm going to increase the brush size. The brush size, I'm going to adjust it here. To make sure you put a suitable size. Then, of course, you can click Z to make sure it view in, in the XY plane. So that you can just paint it effectively like this. You can paint the whole river and later at the center you paint it again. So here I'm going to change the texture. I, I press open. Then I may want to choose some like this the grass ground, the grass round. I paint it here. So now it is different texture. If Ctrl Z is to undo. And now the rest of the place here, I'm going to totally paint it as the grass. So I may just put the radius to be very big to direct paint it. And this mountain, this rock, this, this is a giant rock, I'm going to paint it like rock color, I will choose it from here, I open then I will just choose a rocky texture for example for example this then I may just paint it here now you can see immediately I will create some rocky effect here this is really simple And you can change the texture anytime. Right now you can see under under the mapping here, if you change the repeat X, it is going to to change the size of the texture. Now you can see it will become a very small one if you put it like 5 the texture will be much bigger by default it is 1 then the size will be big so to make sure all look like the same so I just use the 1 and I'm going to change the the texture here Desert mountain. Right. 
So I change to this, it's okay. So now we can see I already created a texture here and then what about the river bottom you may just want to change change to another muddy the muddy bottom let's say the, you choose the mud then the bottom of the river you can just put it as the mud and later you can fill up the water if you have the water add-on in blender then open the sand again then open so I feel this rocky mountain will be better Right now you can see this is already a terrain. Now I back to the layout. It already become a terrain. I just click it and go to the material. This is the material. The light reflections, the specular, I'm going to change it to become zero. Now everything look better. This is really a terrain. Let's say if I want to create a simple water here, it is easy. I just add another plane, add a mesh, add a plane. Then I just press S to make it bigger. And I press G and press Z to make it down. I want to fill up some water. I press S to make it big. Like this. So I want this to fill as water. I just click plus new. Then the base color, I will just change. Make it as, as blue like this. Then, so of course, you can add some transparency if you want. Just scroll down. Then the blend mode, you change it to become the alpha blend. Then the alpha, just make it decrease. And the specular, you don't change it. Now, this is really a water. It is really easy. The water already fill up this gap inside here. So, I may just press G to increase the water level if I want. At this time, then I can just repaint the texture, click and then go to the material painting again. I'm going to paint more sense. And then I click here, go to material, the texture paint here. I'm going to paint more sense at here to make sure it is just beside the all right this one I can just hide it this is the water done then I back to the, the layout mode now you can see this is a terrain with water with some sands with some grasses and also some rocky mountains here this is really a terrain all right then of course you, you can you can sculpt this as well just go back to the sculpting mode and you can turn on the texture and just push, push some of this up to make certain gradients I'm going to pull it out the radius to make it bigger then pull some of it to add it like this All right. so now I make this terrain have some shapes just pull it out this part so now this is a very good terrain and of course you can put more effort to make this terrain look better now if you want to export it as FBX it is pretty simple and you can use it in other projects like Unreal Engines like any other 3D software
So I just save this, click File, Save As, Save As a Blend File, Terrain 01, Save. And I'm going to export this as FBX. I click File, Export, FBX. And always remember the path mode you have to choose copy. Choose copy. And then here you take it so that so that the texture embedded inside the FBX file here. I will export it as FBX file. Now the FBX file is already here. Right. Now the FBX file is already here. But if you try to double click to open, you may see that actually the texture is not embedded yet. So how to embed the texture? It is really easy. Just click file. Sorry. Just back to the UV editing. Now, you back to the layout first and go to the, make sure you click the terrain, go to the UV editing. And then here you select the the untitled, then click image, save as. First, we export it, we export the texture, export as PNG. Now, the texture is already here. If you really want to em embed it inside the FBX, it is pretty simple. Just back to the FBX here. Sorry, just back to the layout mode, your texture, go to here, the material is under untitled, but if you want to embed it, you can just open a new blend file, a new blender window. Just make sure you embed it. Now, in your original Blender project here, of course, you can just delete all of the material. Then click plus new. Under the base color, you choose image texture. Then click open. Open from the desktop, double click to open like this. Next, scroll down as well. Remove the specula to make it become zero. Now, at this moment, you try to export it again. Click file, export. FBX and then make sure the path mode is copy. We try this again, export to just replace the previous one. Now, the terrain 01, just have a look. Is the texture already embedded? Yes, now you can see the texture already embedded it. So now this FBX file, you can import it into your 3D software into third-party software like game engine like iClone like Maya Unity to make it become a game asset it is really awesome if you can make a terrain by yourself this is the water all right that's all for today about my tutorial on how to create a nature terrain just by using the blender and no extra add-on required everything is just in blender you may just go to my video description to download the Terrain Material Pack CC0 and you can use it to start to create your terrain start from today. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you love my videos, tutorials and sharing, if you feel all these tutorials and sharings are very helpful to your 3D modeling, 3D animation and 3D game developing, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select all so that when next time I publish a new video, tutorials or sharing, you receive a notification immediately. See you in my next video. Enjoy! Happy 3D modeling, 3D animation and 3D game developing. See you!